NYPD Blue, the, the marching orders were, were extremely succinct. Uh, Hoblet, Bochco, and myself at lunch up on uh, the top of Mulholland in between the two offices. And so I was so excited about the script. I was just over the moon about the script. Hadn't seen a thing. So we're sitting there and we get to lunch and I'm I'm pumped to hear what they got to say. These are these are two geniuses, you know, the two big made guys in television. Two geniuses. And here we are, we're gonna do it again. We did it on Hill Street, did it on LA Law, we did it on you know, Doogie. We, yeah, come on, let's do it again. So we sit down and we, you know, we order, and I'm waiting. I'm, I said, So, so, what are you come on, what are you jerks thinking? So Bochco says, let me ask you a question. Yeah. He says, has there ever been a TV show with a theme that was drums? I said, what do you mean, like the start of Hawaii Five-0 or something? He said, no, no, just drums. I said, no. He said, well, that's what I got to say, drums. I went, what about you? Robert goes, Subway. I said, Okay, uh, drums and subway, and that's what you're gonna give me? Drums and subway? Yeah, how's your whitefish? You know? I went, okay. And then I just absolutely that fast, I just went, oh, I know exactly what to do. I said, you two bozos, you two smart asses, think you just want to mess with me, you know? I said, guess what? That makes perfect sense to me, drums and subway. Oh, we thought it would. I said, okay. It took me about three weeks to do it. But, you know, I'm, I took the sound of a train. And, and, and Hoblet was really helpful. He gave me books and pictures of, of cops and, you know, stuff from the turn of the century. Long story short, I, 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 I made a groove out of the train sound. And then I took these big, giant drums that were really inspired by Phil Collins in the air tonight. That one drum, and I, I made that the template. I, made, I said, if I got to beat that tom sound, because that's the greatest tom sound I'd ever heard. And um, so I just really went to work on that. And I sampled all kinds of drums, and I got all kinds of samples, and I, it just took forever to try and just you know make it perfect. And then I thought, well, the middle section's got to reflect the cops. It's got to reflect what holds them all together because cops are all blue. They're not Italian or Jewish or Irish or Russian. Or they're, they're all blue first. They're black or white. And none of that stuff comes into play. They're blue first. And so I wanted to have this feeling of... So I went back to the old pictures and I looked at all these Irish faces, you know, and I went, okay, you know, and I'll put this slightly Irish thing that has that Hill Street thing in it that, well, it's going to keep ticking here no matter what happens. And I was just, I was just so captured by Dennis. Uh, no, no offense to, to, uh, uh, to anybody else in the, in the film, but I was just so moved by Dennis and how flawed he was and yet how, and I had already scored Dennis in th three, four other series, you know, uh, Beverly Hills Bunts, um, Hunter. You know, he, and I just loved this actor so much. I was just so inspired by this guy. So that's what drove it. it. Took me three weeks to come up with the theme. I came up with the theme, then they went and shot the pilot, and and it just it just made sense that Sipowitz and the and the cops would be that middle section. I had envisioned it, and I and I knew that that it was going to be Dennis. I was told, you know, when they, they we had Dennis Franz, you know. And, uh, but in this case, did the music actually come first before oh, yes. all the, the images with the, the oh, drums and all the whole, of, all oh, that? Yeah. And, and in most cases, it does. Oh, okay. Most cases, it does. Even in L.A. Law, it did. You know, in most cases, it does. In Hill Street, it certainly did. He, he Hoblet had the vision of what he was going to do, but he wanted to wait for me to do what I did before he edited it. So he described it to you. Described it. But like the trunk lid wasn't shot when you. Right. You got to that fifth score, that fifth, fifth, fifth yeah. theme. Mm -hmm. No, the, or, the, I came up with the theme, and then 
And then he, he told me, so we got to put a little thing on the front of it, and then I'll slam this, and that'll start the actual tempo of it. So I said, okay, we'll do a saxophone intro slam, in the dark, in the black, slam the trunk, and that'll be the downbeat of the first beat. So it's... So that's the way we did it. That's just me and Hoblet. You know, he's just a real creative guy, and hopefully I am too.